They're coming through the back right now. Yeah. There's two right there. God damn it. Yeah. There's some on the side, be careful. Here they come. What? Okay. What is going on everyone griffin here coming at you with some buy gameplay and today i want to talk about the weapon mastery teaser that was teased on this week in rogue company so let's head over and check it out so as you can see here and i'm going to throw it up on the screen we have a couple of very interesting things that i actually took from the video itself and we're going to kind of talk about them for a little bit so as you can see at the bottom of the screen here for the striker 810 we have milestones and milestones appear to be challenges that are going to be incorporated into the game so we have a total of four challenges at the bottom of the screen right now. One of them is down 40 enemies with hip fire. One is deal 5,000 damage. One is down five enemies that haven't damaged you. And one is down three enemies without dying X amount of times. So as you can see next to that, there is a point value that seems to be assigned to each one of these. And as you complete these, I'm assuming that you're going to get more and more points as you go in order to unlock things specifically for the weapon that you are playing with. So in the top right hand corner, you see that there is a unlock for a specific weapon ramp that is currently... It kind of looks like the 100 Thieves weapon ramp a little bit, but I, it might just be a placeholder or something right now. But you can see that mastery points earned 0 out of 5, um, and you need X amount of points to be able to unlock this, and, I, and I'm assuming move it to the next level. Also, on the left-hand side of the screen, you have, besides Striker 8x10, you have this little emblem that's got a silver emblem with a star in it, and below that, you have the default weapon. I'm assuming what would be weapon skins. You can go in there and edit the appearance of it, it appears, so I'm guessing that's how you will be equipping skins in the future. Also, in the bottom left-hand corner, above the milestones, you actually see the characters that actually use this specific weapon. So what does this tell us about weapon mastery? So this appears to tell us that weapon mastery is going to be challenges specifically for your weapon, the way that weapon mastery should work, that you're going to unlock over time as you use the weapons to unlock skins and things specifically for the weapon. Uh, with the introduction of Season 3, we're going to get our first exotic skin for the game, and I think that it looks really cool, and I think that it would be a very, very huge letdown if the Weapon Masteries did not have exotic skins associated with each individual one that everybody had the ability to unlock over time. I think that this is heading in the right direction 110%. Because the rumors for the way that the Weapon Mastery system was actually going to work sounded awful. And I never wanted to talk about it because nothing official came from the developers themselves. Nothing official came from the studio itself. And I feel like it would be wasting my breath to actually do a full in-depth review of that. But all in all, I think that the way that they were talking about doing the Weapon Mastery where you could run a character with a shotgun and you could equip any shotgun to that character or run a, a character with an assault rifle and equip any assault rifle to that character was very it sounded really bad in my opinion uh the reason that these rogues are unique and they have their own identities is because of the weapons and the abilities and the gadgets that they have the perks kind of cross over from rogue to rogue, of course, but their identity lies on their abilities and their weapons at the end of the day. And I think that once you start mixing all of the weapons together, then you take that rogue's identity away from them and you actually make them basically a Swiss army knife. Oh, they have a shotgun and they have an assault rifle. We'll go pick one and have fun with it. I understand that it would add a little bit more diversity to the game, overall but i think that it would be taking the individuality away from some of the rogues in the game because i mean you have a sniper you have two snipers in the game why should i be able to get fixer sniper and give it to phantom because fixer sniper feels very much like it was designed specifically for fixer it doesn't make any sense and i think that the way that this weapon mastery looks on paper and if this is the trajectory that they continue on is going to make 110 percent sense and it sucks that it's taken this long for us to get there because the game's been out for what over a year now at this point but at least it's finally coming into the game in some capacity i really hope that they give some really cool cosmetics into the game i hope that they give some type of like 
tracers or individual like bullet patterns or bullet sprays like not actually affecting the way that the weapon shoots or how or anything like that but i hope that they give more cosmetic value to actually wanting to level these things up because if you look at the rogue mastery you get what there's 10 levels and you get five things out of it that feels like there's so many diminishing returns there. It's like, why max them out to 10 just so I can get a title? Who cares? Like, I get the emote at the third level. Like, that's all I want is the emote. Why am I grinding all this time out? I mean, if you're going to be someone that grinds rogues out. But why would I grind it all out for a title? That doesn't make any sense in my opinion. But this makes a little bit more sense. And hopefully they'll take this, this idea and the way that they're actually presenting this to us and apply it to the rogues themselves because the cap shouldn't be at 10. The cap should be at like 20 or 30 or 50. Make it higher. Give us reasons to actually grind for some of these things that the rogues actually have. Skins, uh, unique voice packs, um, different ways of how their uh, abilities interact on the map like a ronin knife that whenever you make it explode confetti comes out of it or something like that yeah that's something that they could put in a skin to make it unique but they could also just make it to where you could equip it specifically for her ability and it would be something that would be really fun and interesting so i really like this i'm really glad that they're going this direction with it and i think that they had to like make a lot of mistakes to actually get to doing something good and i can't wait for them to actually officially announce this and do an in-depth dive of it so i can actually give a full review of how it's going to go how i feel about it and what's going to actually come from it so let me know what you think of the weapon mastery in the comment section down below also be sure to check the description for links to facebook discord and twitter those are the places to contact me and if you haven't already please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching guys Nope. Utility out. I just got pushed by goddamn three of them, and they're fi they're raising him. Fighting off. Dude's behind us. Damn it. Friendly's eliminated. That's I was back there dicking line. with that fucking chalk is back there. Oh, he's gonna flank. Uh. Here they come. her up. Oh, no, they're not. He's going for the bomb. Going. Another one at the back. Utility out. Been wiped out. Where are you running? Where are you running? There's a good theme for a battle pass. Power Rangers. Oh, that would be awesome. Wouldn't it? He's in here. He's just charged. What the fuck? Great work, team. Wrote the books on bugs. I heard her knife on fucking hey. Yeah, there's nobody over here. We're clear to plant. Bombs active. Don't let them disarm it. They're coming through the back right now. Yeah. There's two right there. God damn it. Yeah. There's some on the side, be careful. Here they come. What? Okay. That's what I like to see. The Rudo running. 
Yeah, that's what it is, yeah. That's how the ninjas run. They let their arms go free and run crazy. I hear them. Wanna watch behind us? Life is right there. Yeah. He's one shot. The fuck was he doing? Huh? And that, and it just be all lumped into one, you know, extravaganza. That sounds pretty structured to me. They got flashed. Y'all see everybody? No. Most of them. God damn it. Yeah, that Ronan yeah, was right yeah. here. She's running out. She's behind the boxes in there now. Chalk's coming up behind you, Corey. Griffin said he got his ears pierced and it didn't hurt at all. Well, he got him pierced when he was younger. Yeah. She's like, he's like a bear man. <laughs> and he goes, he's a grown up. <laughs> yeah. No, I got it done when I was in, I was in high school. Yeah, he was but, in high school when he got his done. What a wee lad. I was in middle school when I got mine done. Yeah. I was 13 when I got my ear pierced, my first ear pierced. Then. Got my rider pierced like three years later. They're behind that fucking shield. Die. I moved. Yep, he's going. There he is. He's just gonna fade it, ain't he? <laughs> yeah, he just started running around, didn't even take a shot. Well, I flashed that Ronin and I fucking peppered her ass with the double tap with that shotgun. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Pepper. Yeah. Sometimes that's all you need. A little salt and pepper.